It's been a difficult stretch in our state with HB2 and, and a tough couple of weeks in our city specifically. How are you and your, and your organizations? How are you doing? Just like any citizen in our city, it's been a real difficult couple of weeks. Yeah. Uh, it's been tough for our players and our coaches and uh, really in the entire organization. We had a game in the middle of it, uh, which uh, was uh, uh, difficult. We got great support from the city throughout. We're so appreciative of that. And uh, it's just been a tough time. Yeah. And then on the HB2, uh, losing the ACC championship yeah. game is, uh, is uh, disheartening, especially given the fact that uh, it could be uh, one of their best games that they've had uh, with the way several teams in the ACC are playing right now. But the ACC has been great throughout the process. They uh, have kept us informed all along the way. They want to be back in Charlotte, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get them back in Charlotte. As Dan and the Panthers were preparing to play a football game, we were preparing to go to training camp. Uh, so, you know, needless to say, our players were you know, rattled by what they were seeing right outside our back doors. And, uh, and we have great players, great, great young men that, you know, want to get involved and want to be part of the solution. Uh, but as we try to get ready for our upcoming basketball season, our coach is trying to get them to stay focused on our game. Uh, seeing our team store um, be broken into and, uh, and looted was uh, certainly disheartening. Um, but, you know, we want to be a part of the, the healing process. Whether it's preparing for a season or in the middle of the season, we're getting ready for um, a big race this week. And I think, um, you know, sports is a catalyst. In this case, I think it's a catalyst for healing. Absolutely. Uh, it gets the community together. But after spending the last 10 days uh, at the Ryder Cup, you know, you, you asked how we're coping. Yeah. The concern from our leadership, our, our membership around the country was, was how everyone here is doing. So we're hoping to have to be a part of the solution. I think Charlotte is such a phenomenal city. Um, and we use sports to really put our city on the global stage. And losing uh, another global event that, that's seen live in 218 countries like the NBA All-Star Game certainly was disheartening because it was another great opportunity for us to showcase what we were able to showcase with the DNC uh, and, and other events and have it be in our city. Uh, so my hope is that somehow, some way, we'll get, get, get past the HB2 and get it resolved in some shape, form, or fashion so that we can get on with continuing to grow our business and continuing to really have people around the world see what a great city we have.